What's going on everybody? Mr. Thrasher here waking up the tangerine. Gonna head out, look for some breakfast. Got a lot on the agenda today, a lot of filming. Big filming schedule. Gotta start with some breakfast. Ugh. Coffee. Got my coffee. This is nice over here. This place. Need to find a place that's open for breakfast. It could use some eggs, juice. Oh, that'd be something open. I don't really want to eat at Starbucks. So I'm going to take you all around parts of Burbank here. Check out some of the studios. I'm not going to take studio tours. I'm just going to show you the studios. This cow is like burgers and smiles. Would the cow be that happy that he's a hamburger? Hoppin' chicken. Gotta find some eggs, bacon. I don't really want to go to Starbucks for breakfast. I guess there's a decent place right over here. The Red Maple Cafe. I check out the Red Maple Cafe. Get myself some breakfast. And we'll see where the day brings us. Let's go, this is cool. Diner style. This place has really got to go on. They got some really nice stuff in here. Good setup. I'm gonna wait to get my table. Look, they're all ready for Halloween. White pumpkins, you got scarecrows. Hey, look at these pumpkins over here. Arts and crafts. It's a pumpkin on top of the self-serve water. Yeah, this looks pretty good here. Just gonna put some pepper on these eggs. A little ketchup for the home fries, got some bacon. Oh wow, these look good with the onions in here. The jam for my sourdough. This looks pretty good. We're gonna eat this and then we're gonna head out to Burbank, check out a couple things, maybe the Walt Disney Tower. Check this out. Well, that was a very good breakfast. Right over there at the Red Maple Cafe. Home fries, onions, peppers. Mm. I'm energized now. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Get a few things in order, and then we're gonna come out here. Take a walk around Burbank. Let's I'd show you some of the studios. You can see the top of the Walt Disney Company water tower right there. We're just off Parkside Avenue. A road that was used in Halloween 1978. Just down that way. Very far jog from where I'm staying, but I'm gonna show you some of the other things over there. The Walt Disney Company, the Warner Brothers Studios Tower. Let's head over there. All these fences surrounding the Walt Disney Company all have Mickeys at the top of the gates. Look, Mickey. Mickey, I'm going to jog down this gate. Count how many Mickeys you see. There's Mickey. Pretty much everyone. There's Mickey with a little stuff entwined in his ear. Oh, dropping my water. Just approaching as the elements come down. Sorry about that. The Walt Disney Company. There's the main entry point. The Walt Disney Company. I gotta sneak in here for a second. Show you something cool. Here at the Walt Disney Company in Burbank. Look at this. The Seven Dwarves. Seven Dwarves up there. Got the seven dwarves up there. Elements are coming down, so I'm gonna head back to my hotel for now, but there are seven dwarves made of stone right there. Hidden Mickey on the back of the Walt Disney Company sign. One more look at that. So we traverse back to the hotel. I'm gonna stop by the Warner Brothers. The legendary Warner Brothers water tower. Even if it's still raining. Just down here, just past another palm tree alley. We got the Burbank Studios here on Alameda. 
not far from the Royal Warner Brothers Studios. Wiener Schnitzel over there, very tempting. Chick fil A. Oh, that's been jogging it up. Now it's raining. Tell you, the rain follows me. They've been talking about rain for a few days in California now. I knew it was coming eventually. Ooh, Wiener Schnitzel looks ever so tempting. Heading all the way down to the Warner Brothers Tower for your enjoyment. We'll stop by and see the Sinclair dinosaur on the way back too. Very daunting, I'm glad this gate is here. It would be extremely unsafe over this extremely noisy Los Angeles thoroughfare. As we approach, straight ahead, Warner Brothers Tower. Gotta get this quick as the elements are coming down on me. Gate four here, Warner Brothers Studios. That's where the magic happens, look at that. The Warner Brothers Water Tower right there. Hopefully you can get a glimpse of that. It's much closer to me than it may appear on the camera, but there you go. Warner Brothers Studios. Wish I had time today to do like a backlot tour. Do the backlot tour, see the spot from vacation. But it's raining now. They say the rain is coming, so I head way back down Hollywood Way. Stop by and check out the Sinclair dinosaur. There you go. Warner Brothers Tower, Burbank. Just had to make a stop in here at Dino Mart. Sinclair dinosaur right there. We don't have Sinclair gas stations in Canada, but I've always been quite fond of them. Had to make a stop there in the Dino Mart, and I'll take you over here to see the Sinclair dinosaur himself. The Sinclair dinosaur of Burbank. Size of that. Size of that. And there's like these miniature palm trees, big palm trees. Like there's a storm on the horizon. Legendary lakeside car wash right across the street right here. Hey, buddy. Get the tail on. Pretty big. It's a good dino. I love the Sinclair dinosaur. What's going on down there? Something's caught your attention? Ooh, saw this mural here just on the side, just uh, around the corner from Maple Street on the side of this dry cleaners. Pretty cool looking dry cleaners. Check out this mural on the side. You know me, I always like to get cool murals. Evolution of laundry and dry cleaning. Check this out. See, they used to have to do their, you know, they didn't have laundromats. It was unheard of, you had to do it in the river. In the river. This woman's going, don't pee in the river. Don't pee in the river, I'm washing shirts in here. Don't pee in the river, please. And she's going, I know, I hate when people pee in the river. I hate it. This gentleman over here, laundry and dry cleaners. Eventually they did get deluxe dry cleaning. It come into fruition later. See, for the longest time they just hang their stuff out to dry. Especially here in California, that's no issue. You can't do that in the winter and all. And Canada. I don't know what they did in Canada. And then they got these things, washing machines that were connected to your sink. That's a big step up, step up from doing them in buckets with a laundry fork. They did in the 18 and early 1900s. Then they got some machine closer. Moving down this way. dryer was created and that was a big step for mankind and science a dryer for your clothes however it would be expensive so people still would hang stuff out to dry if that was the easier way to do it still just on the side here of the University of Laverne finish this mural over here and then eventually just like this place built in eddies Dry cleaning services. So if you 
you didn't have your own washer and dryer at home, you could bring it in for a dry cleaning. Friendly dry cleaning service. You don't have your own washer or dryer. This sir will help you out. There you go. Don and Neil Von Flu. Vonflustudio.com. Always love me a good mural. If I can get them, I get them. That's about gonna do it for today. Just heading back to my hotel before this storm breaks out. Look at this pink shed over here. Please like, please subscribe. Always doing something different here on the Mr. Thrash Show. Just hanging out in the Burbank area. I was chasing down certain things for future videos. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of me. I was just out for a jog, fighting, fighting the diseases, keeping the blood flow. Beautiful mural there. That's a big wall. Please like, please subscribe. If you're new here, subscribe and let you know when a new episode goes up. You never know what you're going to get here on the Mr. Thrasher Show unless you tune in. I don't know what, where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing. Could be filming locations, could be just something a little bit out of the ordinary like this. Thanks again, everybody. We will catch you soon. Tune in next time on the Mr. Thrasher Show. Goodbye, everybody. Palm trees down this way are very tall. Last night I was hanging around around here, just up on the sidewalk. It was really windy, which is almost pretty rare for uh, around Los Angeles for it to get so windy that these palm trees were like. And I've had a tree fall on me before, so I was just imagining like oh, one of these things came down. Look at the base, look how thick that is. Don't want it. Got some rat ladders here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but you see the tree at the top of the hill? Everybody loves to see that tree. A tiny tree you can see from almost anywhere in Burbank. Top of that hill. Look at this pie. Inside this pizza shop. Look at this. Life without pizza is no life at all. I concur. Yeah. Another interesting establishment right next to my hotel is the Don Cuco Mexican restaurant. Looks like they got a really cool setup over there. Lots of lights and stuff. I smell some Mary Jane. Tangerine signs lighting up. I smell some greenery. It's a good call.